It's JP Positive with another episode of Pokemon TCGO news and information, guys. So, we're taking a look at the Gyarados GX. Yes, it was released. It's going to be released in Japan soon. So, it does have the first attack, Waterfalls, just 70 damage for one water energy and two of anything. And it also has the second attack, which takes five whole energies. It does 100 damage plus 100 more damage if there's a stadium card in play. So, 200 damage total, and you discard that stadium card. That could could work pretty well against a lot of things but how are you gonna get that five energy onto your Gyarados we do have water patch you can't use max elixir on the Gyarados so we'll see what you can do to build that the GX move dread storm GX discard one energy from each of your opponents Pokemon I mean that can work guys I mean depending if your opponent has a whole bunch of Pokemon set up let's see uh, you're going against Galissapod GX and you use this move. They have all the Galissapod set up. You get rid of all their energy. It could possibly hurt that deck. Moving on, guys, we're going to go to our Alolan Golem GX that has Hammer in. We didn't get a really good picture of it here, but we could see it pretty good. So that's all right. Hammer in 80 damage. It takes one lightning energy and two of anything. Also, super magnetic tackle. 200 damage. This Pokemon does 50 damage to itself. So it also does 200 damage, which is what the Dragon Calamity does if there's a stadium card in play. But he does 50 damage to himself. He doesn't discard a stadium card or anything like that. We also have Heavy Rock GX, which does 100 damage. Your opponent can't play any cards from their hand during your next turn. Wow, that can be a very powerful GX attack. Heavy Rock GX, you do need two Lightning and two Colorless, but there are ways to get that Lightning energy onto your Golem with a lot of the trainer cards or Pokemon abilities that are out right now. So, we're going to move on, guys, to Pokemon the Movie. Yes, the 20th. I think it's the 20th movie now available. So the 20th movie or 20th anniversary, it's just the 20th movie can now be pre-ordered at Phantom Events. Okay, so it will be in the United States Sunday and Monday, November 5th and 6th. There will also be a screening in other countries. Those who attend screenings of the film will receive a QR code to download Ash's Pikachu into the Sun and Moon games wearing Ash's hat from the movie. Attendees will also receive an Ash's Pikachu promo card SM108 wearing the same hat. That's pretty awesome guys. Also announced starting September 19th, fans will be able to download one of the six Ashes Pikachus into the Sun and Moon games, but only one. They will provide everyone with a serial code, but the code can only be used once. Depending on when you enter the code into the game determines which Ashes Pikachu you will receive. That's pretty awesome guys, I like that. So here are the dates of which Ashes Pikachu you will receive if you enter the code on September 19th. You're going to get the original hat. You're going to get the home region hat on the 26th. On October 3rd, you will get the this other hat. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Unova region hat will be on the 10th, October 10th. The Kalos region hat will be on October 17th. And... On the 24th, the Alola region hat will be available. So those are going to be your options. This is the awesome picture of the Pikachu from the movie, the I Choose You Pikachu. I'm actually going to be putting this on my Facebook page soon. And then we also do have a pretty awesome trailer down here, which I'm really not going to do much because I don't want to get copyrighted in this video. We're going to move on, guys. I hope everybody enjoyed that little section. Our new set, SM5 Ultra Sun and Moon. They did release images of the booster packs for Japan, guys. This is how they look. Pretty awesome. I can't wait till that set comes out. But remember, we also are waiting for Shining Legends. And we're also waiting for Crimson Invasion. So that does come before this set. We do have a deck box and we do have some sleeves here. I'm not sure that I'm a huge fan of them as far as the old artwork. I probably like the old artwork better. But let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Let me know what you think. This set will be out on December 8th in Japan and carry 156 cards before secret rares are included. So it will be over that with the secret rares. It does say play match featuring the new forms of Sogalelo and Lunala as elite trainer for champions will be available. So that will be pretty awesome as well, guys. 
we're going to move on to the last little part of this video which is just going to be a new card that was released this is counter catcher from sm4 that's right sm4 crimson invasion set which is coming out on the 15th not that many days in japan so this is what this does guys basically a lysander but you have to have more prize cards remaining than your opponent so you can only play this card if you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent choose one of your opponent's bench pokemon and switch it with one of their active pokemon this is lysander guys this is crazy if you're losing in the game this is the item card that is a lysander pretty epic i really think this is going to be a good card a lot of people are going to be having it in their deck you can only use it if you're losing so probably only going to see one or two in a deck not for like the guzmas or anything like that nevertheless guzma is an awesome card and there's a lot of ways to get around it with using floatstone and stuff like that to come back out and just attack with your pokemon especially with galispachi x and that first impression move so this is where i'm gonna end the video guys i hope you guys did enjoy everything these are the new cards the gyarados the lowland golem the new sm5 set ultra sun ultra moon the images of the booster packs and then also that new movie that is going to be coming out i hope everybody enjoys thanks everybody for watching you guys are awesome and like everybody knows it's jp positive and i'm out